Good evening. East Dallas Christian Church and Grace United Methodist Church have gathered together on Ash Wednesday for the last several years to mark the beginning of our shared Lenten journey. The year 2020 taught us just how much that journey matters and indeed how much space matters, holy space. Many of us realize just how holy our sanctuaries really are to us only when we were not able to come inside and worship and see one another face to face. However, if there's one thing that Christ's journey teaches us is that God does not reside in one place. God is with us wherever we are, everywhere. And God promises to draw near to us. And so as we begin this journey together, we're going to invite you to mark your space as holy. We ask that you find a candle in your home and set it beside you. And in a few minutes, we will light our candles together to mark the beginning of our service. We invite you to find a comfortable chair to sit in, maybe put a pillow on the floor and, and sit. Um, some of you may want to brew some tea to have that aroma as well as the taste. And then we invite you to gather other supplies like a piece of paper. We will be writing or journaling in a, a par, as part of the service, a pen, crayons, whatever it is that you want to write with. Most importantly, we invite you to turn off your phone, turn off your television set if it's on, turn off all technology, and let us be present with one another in the presence of our God. And now, let us begin together. I invite us to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And as we begin, as you breathe in, if you can say, I am here. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, God is here. 
I am here. God is here. And now, let us mark our ground as hope. Good evening. I invite you to be mindful of any of the words or phrases that are being spoken, much in a lectio style. Whatever sits or resonates with you, be mindful of that and hold on to it. Will you pray with me? Creator God, there is a rumbling in us that won't let go. It stirs in us like the wind stirs leaves, inviting us to move, drawing us forth. When we're quiet, we know that rumble is the Holy Spirit, dancing love awaken in us. So we're here and we're still and we're quiet. And on this first day of Lent, we're asking you to draw near. As we hear your scripture read aloud, open the door for us to move. Invite us in, rumble us awake. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. From dust you came, and to dust you will return. From dust From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. This verse, spoken to us when we receive the imposition of ashes on our foreheads on Ash Wednesday, reminds us of our humanity. So in full honesty, Make a list of five to 10 challenges that you are struggling with in this season, recognizing that life is messy and life is complicated. Name anything that is heavy or hard in this moment. Write them down on a piece of paper or on the doodle sheet mailed to you. Challenge yourself to think of the core emotion underlying each challenge. For example, Instead of simply saying, I'm busy, perhaps you might confess, I overcommit myself because I worry that others will think I'm selfish if I say no. Or instead of I'm tired, you might confess, I'm trying to keep too many balls in the air at once because I worry that I'll let others down. Name your challenges and your confessions offering them all up to God. Take a moment to look over your list. Ask God for forgiveness for the things that you can control and ask God for grace for the things you cannot control.
invited. A poem by Reverend Sarah R. I like to imagine that each year God invites me to a party. God drops me a note that says, No gift, casual dress, come just as you are. I like to imagine that I am brave enough to go. I like to imagine that I decide that I am worth it. This is no pity invite. There is no obligatory postage. God wants me there. So I get myself together, smudged glasses, sensitive ego, wrinkled shirt and all, I ring the doorbell a few minutes late on account of the fact that I lost my keys twice trying to get out the door, and I almost turned back to hide in my car, afraid that I might embarrass myself over appetizers or small talk. But then God answers the door, and God says, You're here! And I smile because I am. And with every step past that threshold, I know that God is cheering me on. It's the pride of a parent watching their child take their first step. If I freeze, God is not disappointed. If I fall, God is not mad. But if I trust the invitation, if I move closer, I know God celebrates. Friends, you've got mail. It's an invitation to dust off your shoes, to go deeper, to trust that you're worth it, and to lose your keys and your faith. And then to find them both along with your worth. You are invited, we are invited, again and again and again. This invitation is for you. Some of you will already have ashes imposed on your foreheads. Some of you have ashes gathered to impose on your foreheads in just a moment. And some of you are going to be remembering your mortality with dirt and soil that you have collected. Our ancestors in the faith used ashes as a sign of repentance, a symbol of the uncertainty and fragility of human life. Like them, we have tasted the ashes of hopelessness. We have walked through the ashes of our loss and pain. We have stood knee deep in the ashes of our brokenness. God of our lives, out of the dust of creation, you have formed us and given us life. May these ashes and this soil not only be a sign of our repentance and death, but be a reminder that by your gift of grace in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, we are granted life forever with you. Amen. Remember that you are dust. Dust, you shall return. From dust you came, From dust and to you dust came. you will return. From dust you came, you shall return. and to dust you shall return.
Now, write down the five to 10 hopes that you have for this Lenten season. You can write your hopes on your paper or on your doodle sheet. As you write, consider these hopes to be intentions that you are setting for the next six weeks. For instance, you might remember confessing your tiredness and that you overcommit, and thus express an intention to prioritize and let something specific slip from your to-do list. These are not intended to be aimless wishes on stars, but instead thoughtful intentions for your one wild and precious life.
Will you join me for our closing prayer and benediction? God of open doors, open arms, and open conversations, we know deep in our souls that you are forever inviting us in. Again and again, you invite us to take another step closer, another step deeper, another step further in this journey of faith. So with your invitation in our hands, we pray for strength and wisdom. Show us the next right step in this journey. We are here. You are here. This is holy ground. May this holy Lenten journey begin once again. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. Go in peace.